Hello, it's Ali Mek. In today's video, we're gonna be using manual engine oil flush to see if we can clean leftover oil sludge. By the way, the video not sponsored. I bought the product with my own money. After using engine oil flush, we need to change the engine oil and the filter as well. Alright, let's open the oil cap. Wipe the oil so it won't drip. Let's see how the oil dipstick looks. This engine has 70,000 miles on it. Let's see how the engine flush can clean this sludge. Putting the dipstick back, let's open the oil flush cleaner. I will be following the instructions as it mentions on the can. Pour it into operating temperature engine and let it run for 10 minutes. And then change the oil and the filter. I've seen some people driving the car with the flush cleaner for better result. Big mistake. There's a good chance to damage the engine. Alright, the oil cap is on. Let's start the engine for 10 minutes. Okay, it's been after 10 minutes. Let's turn off the engine. Opening the cap for changing oil. Now, the moment of truth. Let's look at the dipstick. Looks like the flush cleaner did its job and cleaned the sludge. There is some left between the letters if we look closer, but I am impressed with the result. I'm gonna use 70mm wrench and then put the oil drain pan under the drain bolt and then undo the drain bolt. While the oil draining, I'm gonna remove the filter. Some cars oil filter at the side of the engine, so whenever removing the filter, oil will drip on the engine block. I always like to take some extra time to wipe it off and use cleaner to clean all the oil. Or it will burn on the engine block and it will be difficult to clean it later. I heard so many people been asking, should we fill up the new oil filter before installing? No, you don't have to do that with a small engine like that. The only time you need to do that when you are working on heavy duty engines. You will just need to loop the rubber seal and put it back on the engine. Always hand tight the filter, no need to over tight it with filter wrench. We are almost done putting back the drain bolt back on. We're gonna fill up with the new oil that's been recommended in the manual. Now we're gonna wait 5 minutes to let the oil get back to the oil pan and then check the oil level. We are at the right level. We got a good result with the flush cleaner. Definitely worked good. Here is the before and after pictures. So that's it for this video. If the video was helpful and learned something new, like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.